All right, what's up, you guys? It's Ariel Arts Intuitive, and I feel like uh, doing a reading with these, this new deck that I got, uh, Angel Prayers, Kyle Gray. I do have one of his decks, which I love, or do I have two of them? So, I have a couple of them, I think, but I love, I love the, the artwork. So far, I just kind of did my cleansing with them earlier, and then I also wanted to unbox, and we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll do this tonight. The Whispers of Love. Oracle cards for attracting more love into your life. And the artwork is of Jos uh, Josephine Wall. It's really beautiful. So, anyways... Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so let me tune into the energies and let's get some messages from, from Spirit. Okay, I, just, I shuffled them a couple times. But. All right, wow. Oh, we got the one that's on the cover. You are protected, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. Should we have enough light in here? Okay, Archangel Michael. Okay, so let's... You are protected. Must be over here. Okay. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. Archangel Michael is pouring his electric blue light of protection over your whole being at this time and encouraging you to know that you are completely safe. Whether you have been worried about physical, emotional, or spiritual harm or not, when you pick this card, you are to know that there is divine protection watching over you at this time. Michael may be guiding you to release any feelings or situations you know aren't serving you anymore. It's time to make peace within and without. King of the angels, Archangel Michael, is here to keep you safe and his legion of angels is surrounding you at this time. If you feel fearful about anything, you create a space in which you can be attacked. If you trust that you are safe and protected, you create a shield of light around you. When this shield is up, only loving experiences can enter in. Imagine the light of Michael surrounding you and feel safe in his heavenly light. I love it. Beautiful. So, yes. Yes, oh, that is so true. Your intention, how you're viewing protection what is safety and yeah not falling for the fear okay not falling for fear tactics and stuff like that so let's just keep going see what other messages for fun okay One, two study and learning the miracle of nature study and learning the miracle of nature Study nature. I mean, I know for me, I've been studying plants and all kinds of stuff. Oh, I just turned right to it, so we'll read the miracle of nature. Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through na nature and fresh air. The angels are encouraging you to take yourself outside and connect with the miracle of nature. A miracle is a shift of perception, and the angels can see there are many thoughts in your head that are making you feel confused and even unsure as to what you're supposed to be doing. Take some time to go outside and connect with Mother Nature. Breathe fresh air into your lungs and disconnect from whatever is happening in your home, relationships, or work. As you walk and connect with nature, you will open yourself up to divine guidance from heaven and earth. Yes, actually today it was cool as I went for a little drive and I saw a coyote. I saw a coyote and I saw a hawk. So that nature is always giving us signs and synchronicities and uh, okay let's keep reading 
expanded interpretation. You may feel locked in or may have been spending for too much time indoors. Whatever the weather, there's something powerful and enlightening about going outside and connecting with the sound and songs of nature. Go outdoors. So yeah, it's, it just keeps reiterating that. So that's beautiful. And then studying, uh, learning. I'm not going to read that one. It's pretty straightforward, I feel. It's like, thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day, learning something new, especially on the awakening path. Learning something new. Okay. Let's just see what else. So, got Archangel Michael. You are safe. You're protected. Nature. Studying. Learning. Expanding. Consciousness. Sacred geometry. Showing geometry. Mm -hmm. Okay, another one. Whatever needs to come out. transformation and take time to breathe wow yeah so it's, it's it's reiterating take time to breathe okay relaxation and we are summertime over here so connecting with nature connecting to oneself uh thank you angels i breathe with ease knowing you are here so and then we have our archangels at kill transformation Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform my past challenges. It's a purple. So, transformation. I would like to read that one. I mean, go to do that one. Let's see, transformation. The angels are encouraging you to see that there are many opportunities to transform at this time in your life. You may feel emotional or overwhelmed by your feelings or even angry, but please be assured that this is the process of transformation taking place. Your energy is now being stripped of anything that is no longer serving you, and you may feel open and vulnerable, but please know the angels are looking after your mental, physical, and emotional well-being. Right now you are a caterpillar tucked inside its cocoon, but soon you will be a vibrant butterfly. So the angels are here to acknowledge the emotional and physical transformation that has been taking place in your life. Oh, okay. And his name means righteousness of God. He is the angel who brings emotional balance and helps us transmute any negative experience into a focus for love and learning. Okay. I like these cards. They're like to the point. I think I think these would be great to use uh, with the other uh, deck that I have. It's to the top one. Yeah, transformation because there's a new beginning here. It's like the the higher self, the angels coming in. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. Okay, so lots of stuff about knowing that you are safe, okay? Taking time to, for yourself, being out in nature, studying, learning, because we're transforming into this new beginning. Ooh, I just love it, the imagery. It's like the shadow and the, it's like the higher self rising. Spiritual support. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. I've been saying this like the ancestors and spirit guides and are assisting so much right now. Dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. Beautiful. They're just all surrounding her. Interesting. Okay. So the the angels are supporting this get some more. I like this deck. Awesome. Spiritual abundance. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. That's right. The angels are blessing you. The spiritual abundance. Okay, let's see. How about a little bit more? Live your joy. Oh, yeah. 
that. That one's really pretty. I like that one. The artwork. Live your joy. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. Yes. Like this, this is my joy right here. This is my joy right here. Okay. Part of it and how I is delivering messages. Just showing up for spirit to just flow with our messages, 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 messages coming through. And then the bottom of the deck, we have honor your feelings. Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. So I, I'm feeling led to read that one. Oh, I could just keep going <laughs> and love these cards. Here's another one. Uh, the miracle of forgiveness, because I feel like this is important for all of us, you know, forgiveness. Thank you, Jeremiah, Archangel Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. You see, it's just so beautiful. Okay, one more. It's one of the reasons why I think I bought this. Um, the artwork, like I said, I just love it. Change and transition. Like I said, this new beginning, this change, this trans transformation, that's why it's important to go within and have um, that special, just quality time with oneself. With, uh, yeah. We have, thank you, Azriel, for leading me safely through this change. Yeah, there's a lot of cards. I could just keep going. <laughs> okay. Let's read on your feelings. Your angels are encouraging you to know that you are f more beautiful than you realize. You are perfect in the eyes of God and his angels, and it's time you looked at yourself and this way too. Beauty goes beyond. Oh, I'm reading the wrong one, but that it doesn't matter. That was a message too. This was honor your beauty on your feelings. But hey, a message as well you're allowed to be emotional and it's completely natural to express your emotions the angels are encouraging encouraging you to acknowledge how you feel and express that in a positive and loving way you are a sensitive soul and probably more sensitive at this time but this is great when you express your emotions you're expressing how much you care about a situation and when you begin to acknowledge how you feel you come into a deeper alignment with yourself your sensitivity is not a curse, but a gift from God. You are being encouraged to clear your emotions out by honoring how you feel and being honest with yourself. You will then be able to express who you truly are and will come into alignment with the gifts and talents you have to share with the world. Haniel is a goddess archangel of the moon. Her name means the grace of God, and she's a powerful angelic force that can help us access our gifts and talents. She can help us unlock our empathic, and intuitive abilities too. But in order for this to happen, we have to connect with the deepest emotions we're feeling now. Let Haniel support you with this um, guess and shine with her grace. Okay. I'll just show you this one too. This, this is what I like to do when I open. I love new cards. Like I could just read them all. And also this is the, the first card that came out. There was... Uh, is balance and with the scales of balance truths will be revealed more truth more balance coming in, coming in uh this one's really beautiful divine father the divine father inner power the beat of your own drum dance to the beat of your own drum i've seen the drum right here i love this deck okay this was fun I could just do show each one, but this, this may be for someone, loved one in heaven. Thank you, loved ones in heaven, for drawing close at this time. And honestly, my lighting is not like the best right now, so that's better. You can see it. Okay, so that's the Angel Prayers Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. I like the cover. So it's the same... The same guy that makes this deck. This one. Okay, yeah. And the Angels and Ancestors. I think this one too is Kyle Gray's. I just love Oracle cards. They're so awesome. Okay. I wonder if 
probably should let's see pause it and then so I can get some things and we can get this one open this one up is it already 15 minutes already okay all right so the whispers of love oh I love this I know I'm gonna love it <laughs> okay so let me light some sage um, usually when I get a new deck, I'll sage it. Whatever I'm called to do, it's all about intention, about just clearing the energy in it. And um, everybody has their own stuff that they do. I do need to light some sage anyways, actually. It's a nice clearing here. Clear. The energies, all oh, this, this, this is nice. Although I love sandalwood and frankincense, it's like my favorite, it's my favorite one, incense. Okay. I'll let that kind of burn out here. All right. So this is Angela Hartfield artwork by Josephine Wall. Unboxing. Okay, I got the book here. Listen with your heart is the first card. Okay. Usually what I do is I'll put like my crystals on it too. Sometimes I'll put different crystals whenever I feel like it. And I'll leave it on the deck. Um, I staged it and yeah, I'm ready to go. Oh yeah, these are pretty. Okay, that, that might be better. So this is the cover of the cards. Wow, that's really pretty. so excited okay beautiful I love new cards and the way they feel they're just fresh brand new Also, when I get a new deck, I like to just kind of stretch the cards out a little bit because they get stuck to each other. Like right now, yeah. <laughs> like right now. So I'm going to have to spread it out and pick, pick a card. Okay. Well, let's see what this one is. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Something else. It's so beautiful. Look at the artwork. Just the artwork is so gorgeous. Okay. That's a number. Where? Oh, the top. 41. 41. These are so beautiful. Give your attention to another. When you do something kind for someone, you create an opportunity for opportunity for your relationship to be re-energized. How can you be considerate towards someone today? Insignificant things can have a big impact. Imagine how amazing your life will, will be when you are consistently doing kind and loving things for others. I'm just... Uh, Nature's child lovingly pets a, a rabbit while other animals gather around. Rabbits are a, sig a signifier of compassion. 
They remind you to look inside for the tools you already have. The deer is here to emphasize limitless kindness. Take a moment to consider how wonderful it is to give to someone. Brightening some, someone's day is a wonderful experience. Yes. Yes, 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 that was true. Okay, I'm just going to split the deck. Pick one. Physical touch. Yeah, wow. A tender touch can mean so much. And that's 47. Oh my gosh. That's just a huge number sink for me. Uh, so that's why I just got all excited. 47. Okay. So, wow. I'm loving that. This, the wind, air is knocking it over. So pretty. I hope you can see the artwork. So, yeah, it's like also longing for physical touch as well. Um, yeah, that's understandable, especially with the world right now and people being just not together, separated. Uh, there's this longing for spiritual, uh, spiritual touch. Yeah, well, physical touch. Spiritual touch. Okay, tr turn on your heart light. Yes, your heart light. I like the way they say that. Reflect on a time when you experience love. Okay, that's a great way also to um, pull in that energetic, just pull in that love vibration is to, is to think, be, imagine any, a loving experience or create that in your mind and you can create this. Turn on your heart light. Reach out to somebody. Uh, tell yeah, tell them how you feel uh, by turning on that heart light. Okay, so I might, I'm just going to pick what, get some cards. And I don't know if I'll read it, all the cards in the book. Okay, relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. Wow. Yes. Now this one. 32, I want to read that one, okay, consider the patterns that drive you to attract certain people into your life, you may find the next person you meet has similar quali qualities to your last partner, this is what you are energetic, energetically attracting, once you learn the lesson you'll be able to attract healthier outcomes, it may be helpful to share the disappointment or pain from the past, whether from your current relationship or another period in your life. Be honest with yourself and address situations as they happen. Acknowledge th that you can no longer stifle your feelings. Know your strengths and your triggers. See your past relationships as opportunities to grow and figure out what makes you happy. You have a better chance at a lasting relationship when you have self-awareness. Avoiding ideally idealizing past relationships as they can hold influence over future outcomes. Love will not magically make you feel worthy or happy unless you have achieved those values for yourself. So it's that, it's that, in, it's that within. Um, okay. A beautiful woman holds a hand mirror. She looks down at irises and a maiden playing a harp. The purple irises depict wisdom and power. It is time to cull through res residual emotions of past relationships. It is time... To break your precedence. The harp is about striking a chord of truth in yourself. Dang. Loving that. Stike striking a chord of truth within yourself. Wow. Love is all around you. Let's see. Feels like, no. These are just thick cards. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. Right. That's what I've, I've been getting that word intention all day about knowing your, it, it, your truth and on coming from that purest intention of knowing that there is love all around you. See, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get another one. This is fun. The only thing that is real is love. Oh my gosh. Shift your focus back to love. See, I mean, the artwork is just incredible. And then uh, let's get another one. Be in the present and dream of the future. 
Wow. When we dream, everything is possible. That's right. So it's like getting in that manifestation mode, dreams, imagining, uh, knowing that love is all around you, that you are love. Okay. The union of hearts, a love connection defies explanation. That's right. Oh, it's such a twin flame card. I love it. Oh, okay, number 28. Beautiful. This is so special, unique, and cannot be defined in words. This love is comfort comfortable and a perfect fit. It can be between parents and children, romantic partners, or in a special friendship. It is important to recognize the significance love has in your life. Shift your attention to the essentials in your relationships. Celebrate the wealth of love present in your life. This card is prompting you to redirect your awareness from your goals and desired outcomes onto your relationships. You don't have to wait for a special occasion to do something for someone you love. Send a note, a card, or a flower to let them know you truly value them and the part that they play in your world. Two dryads embrace with complete abandon. Their encirclement re represents the love that is present in a relationship. The colors green and yellow dominate this image, suggest, suggesting balance, healthy love, and mutuality. You are being reminded of the important, important significant relationships you have in your life. Reflect on the role love plays in your world. Wow. Beautiful. I just want to keep going. <laughs> I love these cards. Spiritual connection. Oh, my gosh. Totally for twin, like, soul partners like look at this spiritual connection a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime a love connection that defies explanation yeah i mean more and more d divine counterparts coming together in, you know physically they're already in union in the spiritual oh my goodness that almost got me Tirina, I love you. These are powerful words. Wow, I can't. Here, there we go. I love you. Beautiful love. Oh, I just feel such loving energy. <sighs> Let's see what's on the bottom. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Oh, my goodness. Look at, the, look at the, oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Treasure your loved ones. And treasure love itself is, no words. I got no words. Okay, guys, this was fun unboxing these two. I think I actually have another one coming in. Yeah, so... I think it's very unique one that I ordered, very like something of Lemuria. So I'm just really excited about that one. So, okay guys, talk to you later, bye.